a luxury restaurant halfway to the clouds on a revolving floor that commands the whole panorama of a city skyline. It was the 60s, the suave, sophisticated set jaunt through the doors of the post office tower in central London. It was the place to see and be seen. This sea is the best view in London. Think of being up there on a starry night with all the world at your feet. The 189-metre tower was opened by Harold Wilson in October 1965, but it was Tony Benn and Billy Butlin, no less, who cut the ribbon to open the revolving restaurant the following May. Over the years, thousands sampled the culinary lunch and dinner delicacies du jour. Duck a l'orange, rum baba, glazed ham and strawberry trifle. It finally closed its doors to the public in 1980, but to celebrate its 50th year, the now BT Tower is to briefly open its restaurant doors once again this summer. Today is about celebrating 50 years of the BT Tower. Celebrations aside, the BT boss has more pressing issues on his mind. There's his £12.5 billion bid for the mobile company EE and the upcoming EU referendum. This is the future of the country and it's important that we stay in Europe, uh, being an active part of modernising uh, Europe and, uh, and driving the agenda. And are you doing that? How are you personally doing that? Where, are you taking your message to Europe? Well, whenever I'm asked for a view, I give a view, uh, as you've asked me today. Uh, but I would expect it to start gearing up as we get closer and closer to the referendum itself. So you would participate actively yourself in that debate? Yes, I would. But what if he and others fail and we end up out of Europe? Well, I think it would be, I think it would be bad for our business. And if we're not in the centre of the EU driving the agenda, I think it will you know, bring into question whether or not investment comes to the UK or whether or not it goes abroad. Today's BT is desperate to be the one-stop shop for consumers. All the talk is of infrastructure, wires and fibre, endeavours the boss describes as worthy. You just used the word worthy, which is an interesting word. Do you not want to be seen as exciting and innovative, like a, sort of the apple of, the, of Great Britain, or, or, or I keep saying Google, but those are the big internet um, connected companies that are really leading the way? I think it's very easy to be beguiled by an apple or a Google. And you're not? I'm interested in it, but it's our networks that make their products work, and that's what we need to focus on. But will they be munching over a classic Dover sole come the summer? Well, not quite. The restaurant still revolves, but the menu's been given a more up-to-date twist. This time, try cauliflower velouté and a baked parmesan foam.